All right, everybody, it's finally here. I am finally standing in front of the entrance to my new shop, and I'm finally working in it full time. So let's take a look at it. So there it is. Welcome to the new shop. It's pretty cool. Uh, still some improvements to make. I need to do a little more cleaning, but I'm ready to start making knives in here. I still have to add a few more tools as well. Uh, I still need a welder and a sandblaster. Those are the two big ones. Um, yeah, I can't remember the rest of them, but uh, I'm pretty much set up in here. <laughs> Got my heat treating right here, and I'm gonna split this rack and mount it on the wall right over there. Now I got my coal ironworks, obviously. You saw that. This is the power hammer. Oh yeah. I did, uh, I was able to get my compressor mounted outside, which I think is a good idea. Uh, put a roof over it, and got the bridge port, and it's a pretty cool bridge port. It's a pretty short table, and I think that's pretty much perfect for what I need, especially in this shop, I don't need a gigantic table. I uh, mounted it, mounted a VFD on it, and so I've got variable speed. Sweet. Got a Jacobs chuck in there. This is a keyless Jacobs chuck, so uh, that just means I don't have to do any. I don't have to have a key floating around, which is always annoying. Um, so I can just put regular drill bits in there. I've got a whole collet set down here. I've got to figure out where to put those eventually. Um, right now, that's fine. Little set of hold downs. Uh, these are different dies for the power hammer and that's a generator um, in case I need power. Dust collector, this is a big one. I haven't gotten it hooked up yet, but this is gonna go to four inch PVC out over and underneath my grinder bench over here. So underneath each one, I'm gonna have it tee off and come up and catch all sorts of dust like that right there. And uh, one last one over here. So that is the shop right now and like I said, it's scattered, it's a mess, but it's coming along really nicely. I'm very, very thankful. Thankful for all the people who have helped me to get here, uh, including Bert Foster, who taught me a lot of what I know, uh, Jason Knight, who let me uh, forge in his shop for a long time, my dad, who got me started in all of this, in this very spot, long, long time ago, this uh, spot actually was the place for my old my old shop, which was a half barn. It was a half barn with just very little stuff in it, and now it's that. Uh, I'll show you some pictures. So I'll, I'll see if I can find some pictures and put them in the video. But uh, yeah, got to clean up all this lumber. Although it's nice to have scraps every now and then, right now because I'm still building stuff. But uh, I've got to clean up all that junk eventually so that's it and there's my sign my wife bought that for me for christmas one year it's pretty sweet i'm gonna put led lights behind it 
So it shines the FHB. And then, yeah, I'll have that mounted on the back. I'll put LED strip lights in there. And then I'll put LED strip lights back there and then put a hole through the wall to the other side. And then I'll snake that up into the ceiling to tie it into these lights as well. So everything turns on when I come in. That's it. I've got my refrigerator, microwave. Never had that before. That's nice. Um, sewing machine over here leather table here i've got to get a big toolbox right here uh, for um, all my leather stuff and some hand tools and and all the liquid stuff um, just to organize stuff but that's it thanks for thanks for watching hope you enjoyed seeing the new shop i am gonna get to work now <laughs>